Good morning. <laughs> Say good morning, dragon. Morning everyone. Currently it's 5.48 in the morning. The reason we have to get up is because I thought that I had enough diesel fuel to last me today. So I didn't go get any yesterday, but it turns out, because I just tried to add fuel to my heater, that I don't have any. And I'm getting very low in the heater, so I need to go get some. So now we're waking up, but... I'm at my mom's house. That's where I park usually. I go between a few houses when I'm in Minnesota. But I, I like to stay at my mom's a lot. And there's a gas station very close. But I still have to get up and get my life together in order to drive. <laughs> So that's what we're going to do right now. So today I'm vlogging. Yeah. The screen is dusty. Today I'm vlogging on a Canon, uh, what is it? EOS Rebel. It says SL1. So I'm not even 100% sure what camera this is. I've had it for a lot of years. But it doesn't have a selfie screen. So I can't see anything I'm recording. It also has a mic on the top. So when I'm facing the camera the other way, I'm not sure how the audio is going to sound. Um, oh god. It's too early for that. But what I wanted to show is how low my gas tank is. I have this gas tank that I go and fill up and it usually lasts me two to three days depending on if I'm driving or not. If I'm not driving, usually it's about two days because I'm running my heater 100% of the time, but it's been warm enough. I've only had to have the heater on low, really. Oh, I thought I lost my keys They're in my pocket. So yesterday, my car wouldn't start. Oh, thank God. You probably can't see anything. I'm sure it's way too dark, but um, I didn't start my van for the whole day. Not yesterday, but the day before. And the consequences of that were my battery died from the cold. But I didn't actually think it had been cold enough for that to happen. But in the cold, you definitely have to start your car often to make sure it doesn't die. And I failed. And I was gonna go get a COVID test yesterday just to be safe. I have some high risk family members that really can't get sick with anything. But I was going to go take a precautionary test and I missed it because I had to get my car started.
forgot to turn off the light, but it's a pain. Oops. It's a pain to try and climb over my seat. So I'm not going to. I just take like one little back road to get here, so it's fine. We're gonna go into the house. Normally, I would not be awake right now. My hair is looking real great. But um, when my mom is at work, I take Dragon in the house and let him run around with the dog a little bit. And I drink my coffee and, you know, just hang out. And he's all ready. He's ready to go. I mean, this is really early. We normally don't go in until like 8 a.m. or something, but. Since I'm awake, look how good he is. He's just ready. I'm coming. My second cup of coffee. I found this headband. Probably makes my face look gigantic, but it's fine. This time I did, um, I have a reusable Keurig thing and I still have so much pumpkin spice coffee that I just haven't used. So and then I just threw some cashew milk in it and that's what I'm drinking. You can't really see the sunrise because it's like overcast winter. Let's see. Nope. But in the summer, I would sit out on the deck and drink my tea or coffee outside and kind of just watch the sunrise and stuff. Now it's, now it's way too cold. So we are getting ready to go. So I have to grab Dragon to bring him into the van. And then I think I might go look at cameras because I'm really enjoying so far what I've been able to see from this camera. But it doesn't, like I mentioned a hundred times, it doesn't have a selfie screen. So I think I might go look at the used camera place. 
I don't think they have the used camera I'm looking for, but I think they have new ones as well. But I'm just gonna go see what they have. Maybe test out a few cameras, see if there's one that I let. I don't necessarily need a new camera, but I do really enjoy filming on an external camera as other than um, anything that has to do with my phone. Because I like to use my phone for a lot of stuff and I can't listen to music or podcasts or Netflix or anything while I'm filming ever with anything using my phone, attached to my phone or whatever. I need to put some power steering fluid in my engine. Okay, so I went a little bit above the line. I hope that's okay. But you guys, oh my God, I was empty. Literally, there was nothing on there. I just finished with my rapid test and it's negative. One line is negative. So yay, so that's good. I've, I knew, I mean, I didn't have any symptoms or anything, but um, yeah, before I see any of my grandparents, I just really wanted a definite new uh, to make myself, give myself and my family that little peace of mind, especially after traveling. International camera. We used to have so many international camera exchanges. Oh, this one's only 16 minutes away. Weird. I definitely thought I was further away than this, but okay. So I used to buy all my, this camera I'm using right now, in fact, I think I got there. So I'm just gonna go check out what they have. All right, guys, got a new camera. Oh, there, it's focusing. This is my first time using it. So I went in to get the Canon MD50 was what I was thinking of getting, but the guy behind the counter um, seemed appalled that I would want that. Um, so he convinced me to get the Canon G7X and right away when he brought it, I was like, no, that's not the one I want. I have Canon lenses for a big DSLR camera. I have a specific look I would like to have and he spent the time to explain to me all about this camera and by the end of it i was like okay it's good i like the picture i like the color it's not 100 percent the look that i wanted but i think to get a camera with the look that i want is going to be very expensive and this one was on sale so i traded in my other canon that i was using this morning and um, I probably got half of what I could have gotten if I had sold it somewhere else. However, it is such an old camera and on top of it being an old camera, it was like the cheapest version of a Canon DSLR camera I could get at the time. So the point is, I don't know that anybody would have wanted it. Now I probably should have kept my lenses and tried to sell them separately, but whatever so it got me a little money off of this camera definitely back in bed i'm just tired without even having done anything oh i just don't feel like doing anything i have cramps and all that coffee i drank this morning like, I don't feel like did anything. Like, it barely gave me enough energy just to go run my couple of errands. Also, the guy at the camera shop, he was so nice. 
but what could have gotten done in probably a half an hour, he spent like two hours doing because he was... The thing is, is when you tell everybody you're a flight attendant, or anybody, when you tell anybody you're a flight attendant, they want to tell you every story that's ever happened to them on an airplane ever. And it's always something bad, right? The second you tell people you're a flight attendant, they say, what airline? And you tell them and they say, oh, I hate that airline. I had the worst experience on that airline. And I'm like, cool. And then they spend like hours explaining it to me. Every time. It never fails. <laughs> I kind of want to go in my mom's house and bake some cookies because I never get to bake stuff anymore. So I called my gym and they're actually open 24 hours right now. So I'm drinking coffee, which I normally would not be doing at this hour ever. I should probably drink some water too. Now that I'm thinking about it, that's probably really why I'm so tired. Does anybody else do that? Like just you're so tired and you forget that it could be like malnutrition and you just drink coffee instead. It's not good. People drink your water. But, um, yeah, so I think I'm going to, hopefully this will give me enough energy. Go to the gym, cancel out these cookies. Oh. You're so cute, dragon. I love you. Sensor, sensor. I did it. I worked out. I didn't have like the greatest workout, but I went. I sweated. It was good. It was good. And I'm in my jammies. I've got some fuzzy socks to wear to bed tonight because it's going to be cold. Um, let me see how cold. I think tonight's not one of the coldest. Okay, so right now it's 21 degrees. The low's only 18 degrees, so tonight's not that bad. Actually, it's not gonna be, it's negative 20 on Sunday and negative 15 Saturday and Monday. So those are the nights that's gonna be really cold. So I might not meet, need my fuzzy socks tonight, but I've just got a kale salad. This, these are like dried chickpeas or like roasted chickpeas. And then I'm gonna put Half of this avocado on there and some vegan ranch. This probably is not very healthy salad dressing, but I have it, so I'm gonna use it until it's gone. And then I'm just gonna snuggle with the cat and go to sleep, watch like a movie or some Grey's Anatomy or Gilmore Girls or something. But that is it. That is the end of my day. A very boring, average day. Kind of what life is like for me at home when I'm parked at my mom's house. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye!